Hello developers, today we are going to build an image segmentation application. By the end of this video, you will have a working model that you can customize and use in your own projects. Today we will be using a popular candy kit which is image segmentation one click install kit. Now this kit is open source and comes with a permissive license that means you can freely edit, customize and share your own solution. Let's get started then. Over to you Pooja for a hands on walkthrough. Hello. Hope you are excited to build your own image segmentation application. To build this application, you would need the following. First of all, we will use Meta AI's Segment Anything model for image segmentation. Second, we will use Google AI's OWL VIT, short for Vision Transformer for Open World Localization. So it's a zero shot text conditioned object detection model that can be used to query an image with one or multiple text queries. Everything that you need is already available in the candy kit. Over the next few minutes, we will cover three key aspects in this video. First, download and installation of the kit. Second, a simple code snippet exercise. And third, demonstration of the kit solution source. Let's start by installation of the kit. Check the description for the link to the installable. This will set up a working sandbox application with all the needed prerequisites and resources. You can check the deployment information here and you can click on this one click installer to start setting up the kit. So as we click on the one click installer, a zip file will download for us on our local systems. Go ahead and say show in folder. Extract the contents of this zip file. Once you have successfully extracted, you will get a folder within which there is a image segmentation batch file. So double click this batch file. Say more info, run anyway. This will start setting up the kit onto your systems. Once the requirements and the dependencies are set up, you would see this screen. You will see that your kit gets set up onto your systems at C candy kits under the image segmentation folder. You simply have to say yes. And a Jupyter notebook will automatically open in front of you. But before we go ahead and discuss the Jupyter Notebook, let us do a simple code snippet exercise. For that, I'll open a new notebook. And then I will head over to candy.openweaver.com. This helps me jumpstart my application development and quickly search for functions, code snippets, etc. So search a code snippet. That will help me divide my image into two equal parts. So I'll put my search query as divide image into two equal parts using open CV and hit enter. I will choose code snippets and then look for an option that is most suitable and that will help me create my image into equal parts. So this looks like a suitable code. I'll copy it, paste it in the Jupyter notebook here and then look for the image that I would like to change. So I have one of the images already in the uh, downloaded folder here. So our folder is image segmentation and since the path was C candy kits image segmentation within this I have my Jupyter notebook here I have just picked up a image this image and I would like to divide this image into two equal parts and then this is a JPG JPEG format so I'll quickly go back and dot JPEG format and the code basically reads an image, then quickly we will make some corrections in the syntax. The print statement should have both the bases here as well as here. 
will do the needful wherever there is requirement to add the braces then we further just run this solution and we would see that we have this is our original image and as i close this image i have the cropped top part which is this and the cropped bottom part which is this and i am able to successfully crop this image with a simple code snippet that i have picked from candy.openweaver.com so let's now understand what is happening in our jupyter notebook so first of all we have imported all the necessary libraries then further we have uh, actually checked if uh, gpu is available or not if not then the the kit runs basically on a cpu further we are loading the owl vit model along the loading we are also putting it onto the selected device then we are setting it into a evaluation mode then we are also loading our sam model which is your meta ai's first foundational model introduced uh, by training on a large set of images text image pairs then comes your show mask uh, show box and plot boxes to image so basically these are primarily used so that you are able to uh, mask the different portions or objects that are present in an image and for that we are you know using your height and width to gather a particular uh, you know object as per the axis and then we showcase the masked portion of uh, within the image then this show box is what where it is able to uh, draw a bounding box uh, around that object and plot boxes function basically helps you plot different bounding boxes let's say box, uh, you know within the same image so depending on a particular uh, let's say we have multiple images that we want to segment so all those bounding boxes would lie would lie within the same image so that is used for uh, drawing those bounding boxes here and uh, around the masked images once we have segmented the images so for, for all all this code where wherein within the for loop we say draw a rectangle we gave all the four coordinates same is being returned as a pil image alongside with the mask so the prime function is your query image which is uh, taking a text prompt at an image so first we will load an image in uh, get it into the rgb format then we will save the text prompt let's say from the image i want to collect a certain object so that i will mention then comes in your box threshold which will allow for a particular threshold or a confidence score with which the bounding box would be drawn within the image then we gather the tensors for the image and for the particular target images we rescale and uh, you know get the boxes as per the tensors then comes in your uh, owl vit processor that is used to process and localize a particular object within the complete image based on the threshold that has been set and other parameters earlier then we are able to fetch the scores and based on the top k scores we are finalize finally putting a bounding box uh, to the target image then uh, you are able to get the boxes your scores and the labels for the detected image within a object uh, within the complete image then we visualize the prediction for uh, visualizing a dictionary is being created for your boxes your size and the label further we release the uh, owl vit model so the memory is being collect garbage collected and accordingly we convert the image back from an array form into a pil image format and save here when we run it through your uh, segment anything model so the segment anything model your sam predictor is what is used to detect or segment within the image further we check out the results which are being returned by your google's owl vit segment image here 
launch an interface where we can upload the image so we'll check out how this model will run this is the interface that we have drawn using gradio i'll pick an image kit itself so we have our uh, image segmentation folder in this i have this demo image and i'll just upload this image and let's say i want to look for horses and clouds i want to segment them so i'll just submit this to the model so primarily now i would like to discuss what exactly uh, would you know the model would take a certain amount of time to be able to specifically get the horse as well as the clouds within this image so we can see that the image has some grass some mountains and multiple horses so it will try to choose the most appropriate one and uh, showcase it in a masked format with a different color and we have we would need some time based on how many uh, functions are running in within the ram and accordingly your model is going to showcase you the output so we see that the output here where it has tried to uh, locate a horse and a cloud as well and this output is where it has tried to do the masking and then clearly the bounding box within that image is trying to showcase the location of the two display uh, you know uh, discussed prompts within this image so similarly we can use many other images and with this foundational and very interesting uh, metas sam and google's ow to owl vit to actually fetch or i'd say i would say segment objects within an image thank you so much and i hope this was helpful keep learning hope you found this session useful you can find the link to the image segmentation kit and many other ready to use kits in the description of this video thank you for watching this session till the next one bye bye